failing to reach agreement on a stimulus package, uh, although reports overnight say some progress was made late uh, yesterday. Joining us now, Senator Rob Portman um, of the great state of Ohio, and even the good part uh, of Ohio down uh, in southwestern um, part of the state. Senator, give us the, the current snapshot of where we are at this point uh, in time. Negotiations still going on, uh, more hopeful signs, no white smoke coming out of the Capitol behind me yet, but I, I think we'll probably get there today. Uh, it's frustrating because we did put together a bipartisan package first, uh, based on a bipartisan process, task forces. I was one of the members of the task forces, but uh, Democrats have dragged their feet. But we need to get it done, and we will get it done. Um, Joe, can I comment briefly on what I just heard from, from Barry? Sure. I think this package is essential to get passed to do exactly what he's talking about, which is to get us back to normalcy, get the economy moving again. Not only does it have a lot to help us weather the storm, particularly for workers, uh, small businesses, but it also has a lot in terms of health care. And, and there are four things we've got to do to get back on track. One is to provide the protective gear. We do need the masks and the gowns and so on. We need to get these antivirals out there that are safe, uh, whether it's chloroquine and z -Pak or others. People need to know that they work, they're safe. But then maybe most importantly in this bill, it provides funding for the CDC to have more testing and to be able to collect data. I mean, for us to get back on the on-ramp on the economy, we need to have a better set of data as to what's happening. And without having the test set there and without having quick results, and some tests now almost immediate results, 45 minutes, it's very tough to do this. Every day we need to have the county health departments and the state health departments reporting in and CDC reporting to us a metric, a measurement, data. That's what people are going to trust, and it needs to come from the scientists and come from the healthcare experts. And we can do this. I mean, there's no reason we can't do it. And again, all that money is in this legislation, too. So the economic part's important, and we need to get the economy, uh, you know, back going again through some of the measures that are in there, because once this thing passes, we have to be sure we're on that on-ramp. But the most important part of the bill, actually, to me, is helping solve the healthcare crisis, because until you do that, you can't throw enough money at the economy. It will continue to be a problem. Do you think it, uh, at this point that, that both sides, and I'm going to be generous, do you think both sides are now motivated uh, and, and at least uh, looking at the alternatives in a, in a way that would be very negative, the outcome? Because I didn't really understand how it, it got sidelined in the front. I don't know how that works. I understand you need 60 so that, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to let it go through cloture, you have that option as a Democrat. Because you don't, you're going to need with yeah. you know with five re Republicans out there. So if you want to delay it and just load it with stuff, you can. You're able to do that. But when does the the backlash from from the public get, get where they've realized, wow, politically this might not be so smart? Uh, when does that actually sink in? And and is it done? Has it sunk in at this point? I think it's already sinking in. I mean, I I, I spent the day yesterday uh, on the phone with folks from Ohio who were saying, you know, what are you guys doing? <laughs> You know, I talked to a small business owner who said, we're watching, you know, I've kept my employees till now. Uh, I'm bleeding cash flow. Uh, you know, I've got no revenue. I'll hold on. But you guys need to move. Uh, he was hoping we would move on Monday, as promised. Uh, we didn't. Now we've got to move today. We've got to move quickly. We've got to be sure that we're doing two things with the economy. One is helping keep workers with employers. That should be uh, paramount for everybody. I think Democrats and Republicans yeah. now agree with that. You don't want people to be let go if they don't have to be let go because it makes it much harder for that employee to get the health care, to get the retirement, and to get back to the economy that we all hope for soon. Second is helping workers who are displaced for no, through no fault of their own, and that's the unemployment insurance program, which is historic and a huge increase. And then finally, it's, it's this idea of getting our health care system where we can actually collect that data, have the metrics, know when we're making progress, be able to report that with confidence to the American people in a credible way. That's how we're going to get back to work and how we're going to help keep people safe. So all that's in this legislation. Is it perfect? No, it's a big bill, <laughs> but it's yeah. $1.8 trillion. I think what the Democrats are asking for now is more spending. It's $1.8 .8, it's $1 .8 trillion. If we need more spending for things like hospitals, which they're talking about, by the way, there's over $100 billion in new spending for hospitals in this bill alone. We can come back and do that in a few weeks, in six weeks. But let's get this legislation passed now to get the economy uh, in a point where it's not in free fall and to get this health care system moving so that we can improve the economy and get everybody back to normalcy. Hey, Senator, um, 
was uh, wanted to talk to you briefly about one of the provisions in the bill, which has obviously caused a lot of debate, and this is the discretion it gives Treasury Secretary Mnuchin and also the disclosure requirements, which is to say uh, that American taxpayers won't know where some of that money was spent for a six-month period. Do you support that? And if so, can you explain why? Yeah, that's under the 13-3 provision, as they call it. It's Treasury and the Fed uh, providing loans. By the way, these loans have to be paid back. These are not grants. These are loans to companies, small and large, uh, across the spectrum. It is not going to specific companies. It can't under the Fed's rules, as you know. It also has to be paid back. That's why the Treasury is putting money against it, so it's not just, just the Fed. So this is money that will be paid back. Uh, you think about the loans that were done after the 08-09 crisis and the fact that those were paid back. That's the idea here. My understanding is that there's a period of time at which companies don't want to tell their creditors that they're taking these loans because they need additional credit. So you want the program to work, and, and that's the, the point there. Now, more accountability and more transparency, I will tell you, Republicans are fine with that. But we need to be sure the program is effective and it works. So uh, that's how 13.3 is typically set up. But if there needs to be more transparency, Republicans aren't standing in the way of transparency. Uh, we are hoping that the Democrats stop standing in the way of getting this bill done because it's going to help a lot of small businesses keep their doors open. It's going to help a lot of workers be able to have a place where they can go to be able well, Senator, at least to be Senator, able to make Senator, things meet to put food you're raising the a, but you, Senator, you're, you're raising a very important point, though, which is... If the idea is to effectively keep keep these loans secret, it sounds like you're saying not from the American taxpayer, or at least that's not the, the instinct here. It's to keep it actually from the creditors. That's a very that's that's the flip side of this, which is to say, if you're a creditor, I would think you would at least want to know what the person you had lent to uh, was taking on the other side, so you'd be able to see a full picture of the situation. I, maybe they shouldn't be able to take action. We heard yesterday that one of the reasons was a different reason. We were told uh, that it was to protect uh, defense companies. For example, if there was money lent to a defense company, we wouldn't want our rivals to know that. Um, to me, just it, it seems like there's not a, a, a specific answer and an articulation to the American people and taxpayers of exactly why this is all being done in secret. And I think that's, that's one of the issues that needs to be resolved. Yeah, yeah, it's not all being done in secret. Uh, I, I don't know what that means exactly, but what I do think is that 13.3 is set up in a certain way. Uh, that's the way this legislation has it. If there is to be more transparency, I would be for that. Republicans would be for that. Uh, I don't think that's, frankly, uh, the, the sticking point here. I think it's a matter of Democrats wanting more money. That's what, you know, the Democratic leader has said. Uh, more money for hospitals, more money for states, more money for a lot of things. And that's charitable because, as you know, there's a lot of other provisions they've tried to put in that have nothing to do with the coronavirus, and that's been talked about. Uh, but I don't think the accountability and transparency is the sticking point here. That's I think all, that's, Republicans that's they, are fine Rob, with that. Rob, that's what they got on that side. You're going to hear that. It's, it's, all, it's amazing. But that, that, that's what they got. But let me just say, I, yeah. I have been, people have made the point that whenever either side has a bill that they absolutely want done, if the other side has any say, they always put something in it, no matter whether that's Republicans or Democrats or whatever. But the point is what was made that this time is really different. And this is not a time where it should be politics as usual and you stick all that. And I'm not going to go over all the things that are in this bill, but it, it, it's 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 yeah. like outrageous the stuff that's been put in there and it's, I, it's, I it's, understand it's not that a that's time what, for that's political business as usual, this, this is not business as yeah. usual and people need to know that it's and not it, business it's usual. infuriating yeah and again I, I would just just make the point when you look at what the sba loan is cost which is 350 billion dollars when you look at what the unemployment system is going to cost which is 250 billion dollars when you look at what we're doing in terms of helping the economy move forward there's 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 a, there's a lot of funding here that's going to help exactly the things that Democrats and Republicans right. alike say we want to do. Keep people at work if they can, help people who lose their job through no fault of their own, help get this health care system up and going so that we can be sure that we do have this off-ramp based on good data, credible information, good testing. All that's in this legislation. This is the legislation that is the rescue package. There's no room for anything extraneous to be added here because it's so essential we get this out the door and focus the resources we have. And there's plenty of them in here. I mean, this is the equivalent, Joe, of what Congress appropriates every year. Think about it. So with our budget every year, when we appropriate money, the $1.8 is more right, than sir. we appropriated in the fiscal year 2020.
Okay. So uh, this is this is plenty of funding, and it's got a lot of good policy changes to be able to be a rescue package here. And again, very significantly for me, it has these changes to the healthcare system. It has money for CDC for testing. It has money for the antiviral. Uh, right. medication that we need so badly. It has money to be sure that we are able to, to provide this data uh, for masks and gowns and so on as well for protective gear. That's all in here. So let's pass this legislation. If right. we need to come back in a few weeks and address something else or fine tune it, we can do that. Okay, Senator. But let's not hold up. The American people demand it. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it, Senator Rob Portman. Thanks, pal. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks okay. for having me on this morning.